believed. For knowledge. For whom, not what, for whom he did foreknow. Now, I'm talking about things right now that I'm almost laughing at myself for talking about them because I understand so little of what I'm saying. It's in the Bible, and we believe it. And uh, as far as intellectually grasping these things, no, just believe in them. Believe in them. But, but foreknowledge. Foreknowledge. God's foreknowledge. Now, with God, there is no sequence of events. We can't understand that because we're creatures of time. But with God, there is no sequence of events. He's eternal. Everything is in the present with Him. But as far as a logical order of things, foreknowledge comes before anything else. And it does in our text, doesn't it? Whom He did foreknow, them He also did predestinate. Now, in that verse of Scripture, there is the glaring absence of this concept for whom he did foreknow would believe then he also did predestinate it doesn't say that at all it says for whom he did foreknow now this speaks of those whom he has always known that's all that's talking about. Those whom he has always known. If he knows me now, he has always known me. And this cannot be said of every son of Adam. What about that group to which he said, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Now, he knew who they were, and he knew everything about them, but he never knew them. As Adam knew his wife, Eve, which speaks of an intimate relationship of love, of union, of oneness. Those whom he foreknew. Now, this speaks of the distinguishing grace of God for those whom he foreknew. I think of that passage of Scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, Who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou hast not received? Now, if you're a believer, you've been made to differ from an unbeliever, haven't you? Who made you to differ? God the Father in eternal election. God the Son in effectual redemption, and God the Holy Spirit in the new birth. He gave you life. If you differ, it's because He made you to differ, and if you differ, it's because you've always been foreknown. He said to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before conception, before existence, he didn't say, I knew you'd be born. He said, I knew you. Now, that's mysterious, isn't it? That's glorious. 